From VTV Channel 6 Studios in downtown Vernal, this is Local Point with your host, Chris Piner. On this week's show, we welcome Connie Cook. She teaches a course for parents called Love and Logic. She joins us in the studio to tell us how the program can help parents recognize how they currently teach their children and how to improve their parent-child relationships. So, Connie, let's talk a little bit about that. Thank <laughs> this you. Is a, this is a very important topic. It is, and I'm really excited to be here to share with you on it. Now, th there's a name for the program that, that you teach. It is. It's called Love and Logic. Two different curriculums. One is called Becoming a Love and Logic Parent. The other is called Early Childhood Parenting Made Fun. So, oh, all right. Good well, we title. always say as parents, there's not really a handbook out there, but maybe in a way there there is, through, is. Your, through your program. Uh, Love and Logic. Then is this a is it a, a nationwide thing? actually is international it international? Mm -hmm. And is it is it uh, through some kind of an organization or? Entity well, or it was pretty much created by a gentleman who was a school teacher and a principal Got tired of seeing parents not allow their children to handle and deal with the consequences of poor behavior or poor choices So and more so, more so uh, natural consequences yeah, then exactly Exactly all right, uh, so it was started by this individual and then how did it how did it spread out from there? Well, he created it over almost 30 years ago now with his friend uh, who was a child psychologist, Foster, Dr. Foster Klein and Jim Fay were the creators. And they uh, put heads together and kind of came up with some ideas. They put it out, pulled it back, put it out, pulled it back till it came to what it is today. So, so it's the not pulling it back was uh, revamping it, it, trying yeah. new things, exactly. adjusting it. Exactly. So through trial and, and a little error, then they, they came yep. up with something that's pretty good. Now, how did this reach you? How did reach you get me. involved in <laughs> teaching um, I love was, and logic? I was actually um, introduced to it through a program that I work under that's a federal grant called Parent Information Resource Center grant. And uh, through that grant, we are required to teach some various classes and... Um, one of them was a parenting class. Out of the several that we were trained in, this is my one that I like to teach. All right. So these are. T uh, how long have you been doing this now? Is it this fall will be the sixth year I've been doing it. So it's and it was not um, available here in our basin till then. So and now at, at, here locally, is this done where at? at in a, at your home? Or? I wish. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs> Actually, we, uh, I contacted the county library, and they allowed me to come in and do it in their facility, and that's where I've done it for the five years I've done it. But it, it sounds like it really is something that you've yeah. spearheaded, that you, yep. you've really uh, yeah. to pushed along. And Our attendance was minimal when we first started, and as word got about, and out there, the classes are, we've had as many as 25 in a class. All right. Of that, so. Now, when we talk about um, a, a class in parenting and parenting and some good ideas and, and offering a little bit of the, the handbook, so to speak, are we talking about parenting um, a certain age of child, mm -hmm. young children, older children, middle, all? All. This can actually start when your child's six months old. If they're spitting beets at you across from their high chair, you just gently remove them and say, oh, how sad. You always start with empathy. Let the child know that you're understanding, caring, right. concerned, and then you just put them down. And they come back, they do it again. You take the process through again, and then pretty soon they've learned that, uh oh, my bad behavior happened. Yeah, and, and it... And it uh resulted in this consequence exactly. or this reaction or this set of circumstances. Exactly. So are these principles then in the class that you just would encourage parents to apply to their unique situation yes. or their ages? Or do you say, next week we're going to talk about how to deal with a 14-year-old? We don't ever do in ages, <laughs> right? but we do talk about different philosophies that the program has. Right now we're currently teaching a a cool program. It's called C O O L, Control It Shared, Opportunities for Decision Making, uh, Opportunities for um, 
can't, dang, I forgot what the second C is. It's in my book. But L is let empathy do the teaching. So opportunity for decision-making, opportunities for learning, and right. child, child that's right. shared. All right. Um, I want to talk a little bit more about the class and some of the details of how people can sign up and where to go and how much and that sort of thing. Uh, but we'll do that in just a moment. After the break, we'll ask Connie uh, about some of the success stories also that she's had and uh, witnessed because of the Love and Logic program. Ashley Regional Medical Center now offers neonatal services and a level 2 nursery along with our quality obstetrical services. The level 2 nursery provides state-of-the-art monitoring and clinical care for infants at 32 weeks and older. The team of skilled nurses, pediatricians and family practice physicians along with medical director Dr. Daniel Kwok, neonatologist, help Ashley Regional Medical Center offer your infant excellent care right here at home. As part of Local Point's mission, we at VTV want to provide topics that can help our viewers become better informed citizens in the basin. As we raise the next generation, we want it to be better than the previous generation. We return to our discussion with Connie about improving parenting through the Love and Logic program. And Connie, we were talking a little bit about uh, this, this acronym COOL just cool. before the break. And uh, you, you were uh, stumbled over the one. Trying to remember what that second yeah. O was, but just refresh. It's a okay. good starting place again. Anyway. Control it shared, ownership of the problem, opportunity for thinking or decision making, and let empathy do the teaching. All right. So everything is really laid out and organized, it isn't is. it? Very. And, uh, we had the opportunity to talk uh, just before the program a little bit, and you mentioned that your husband was was raised with the same, uh, philosophy. the same philosophy, just wasn't, uh, didn't know what it was called right. or that it, there was something yeah. already structured and in place, but you really believe in this. Oh, I do. Um, we talk about three parenting styles. Drill sergeants who direct, dictate, you do it my way no, or no way at all. Um, the helicopter who scoops in to rescue, keep our child from making mistakes or suffering bad consequences for a bad decision or something. Uh, both of those, when we do that, rob our children of self-esteem and self-confidence. The one that the program advocates is to become a consultant parent who lets their child learn through the consequences of poor decisions and stuff. Very good, very good. Now you've you've actually uh, in these six years six, that you've been six, almost uh -huh. six years that you've been teaching this, you've seen some some uh, some great results and success stories. Absolutely. Can you just briefly. Give us yes, a little bit I'd like to just share an example of a parent who has recently taken the course and he found it hard because it takes more time than what we usually parent the way we were parented. And uh, making a parent style change sometimes takes more thought and effort and he was struggling. And he says, I finally had to look at it as if I were learning a new golf stroke. I had to practice it over and over and over and over until I got it down. And you look at the discomfort your child may be in for the short term that you're doing that with, looking at the long term better for him. Right, right. And, stuff. and so he's, he was a really good success story that I felt he's still working on it and still learning. But um, I have had many parents come in and say, I've, I've only known you for a few hours. You've changed my idea of parenting. It's not my idea, but it is the program's. And they said the scary part was mine wasn't working, this one does. So uh, they're having some good and success. And so they were grateful? Yeah. And that must be very uh, rewarding. rewarding for yeah. you as an instructor and someone who believes these things yes. anyway to be able to pass this on to yes. others. Well, uh, we've got to get to the details. If someone, uh, one of our viewers, may be interested in, in signing up for uh, this course, well, what do they do? How do they do it? Well, we, uh, we advertise it through various media, especially at the schools. We do it through the newspaper, on the radio. We'll advertise it here if they want. And they just have to contact the library because it is held at the library. That's the location, so they would Weekly. have the information yes. as well? Yes, yes. Can you jump in at any point, or is there really a starting and an ending One course place? is five weeks, one is seven. And uh, the seven-week one, you can kind of step in a little bit more, but the five-week one, it's so consolidated, you really, it's really need to. really in order. Yeah. You need to start it at a certain time. Because thing. it does teach different principles. Now, and uh, do you stagger those? Do you do the five-week and then the seven? Mm -hmm. And, and then I the five, alternate again. And then the seven? Yeah. When is the next, uh, the next 
Starting Our next point. course will actually start probably the second week of September, but please contact the library to make sure that that's when our next available time Would it will be appropriate be. in the meantime for someone to maybe drop by a class Absolutely. and see if this is something they'd like to do? Absolutely. Okay. We, don't right. has, we don't turn anybody away. And what is the cost? The cost is only the cost of the workbook, which averages to be about $15. And so All right. the class itself is free. Well, that's fantastic. This sounds like a great uh, thing that you're doing and passing on to other people. We're seeing success stories. I hope uh, your class is just full. I do too. With <laughs> lots of great new parents and new good ideas. Yeah. Well, thank you again, Connie, for thank coming you. by to Local Point. It's always good to have you here. I welcome you back anytime. Thank you. Thank and you. that's it for another edition of this Local Point. We hope to see you again right here on the next edition of Local Point. Thank you.